Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, uh, kind of what we have in store is a little bit of a part one collection and gaming area reveal for like where I stream and you know keep my collection and everything. One of the things going on, our heater's broken. So we have just heaters. These are from Costco. They're just kind of heating up the place because it's literally 53 in here. So it's pretty fucking cold. This is all of our shit. It looks very, very messy right now, but that's because there's so much of it and we don't have enough shelves. But at some point, we'll have probably two more of these tall shelves, one more of the smaller shelves on the end, and there's a possibility, possibility that we might stack these small shelves on top of each other. A lot of what we got going on, I was able to set up Dragon Ball Z and Naruto, and I didn't even finish Naruto. I have some, I have Jiraiya, Sunada, and Ochimaru, Arisha. Orochimaru over there. You ready for this? Wow! These, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into building. This is from Legend of Zelda. I guess all of them, but specifically Breath of the Wild. They're the little Korok people. Some more stuff. I got some money here. I want to see them. Okay, Rich. <laughs> Ah! I wasn't expecting it to actually be so slippery. Okay, they got Dende, got Bulbasaur, Vaporeon, and Choppa. They got my Armored Chopper. I think he's from, I don't know, haven't seen it yet, just bought him because it's him. Got my little Naruto's, the little like Naruto cat people. So, and then this His bad boy, thanks to Brian is going to be holding all of my energy drinks. We plugged it in for experimentation purposes. This isn't where it's going. Wow. Isn't that fucking cool? Everybody think Brian in the comments. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> That's fucking sick. I knew that if I turned on. Yeah, I wonder. I saw pictures. <laughs> I saw pictures. Yeah, cold. I just turned it on like two seconds ago. It's not cold. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is go to Roman Empire. I don't know if any of you guys have been there, um, but it's kind of gonna be another gym review. I've been to this gym before and I do like it, but there's been some changes apparently uh, that we're gonna go, you know, check out. I bought this at Costco because there was this little kid. All right, all right. There was a little kid with his parents like walking around and he had this in the cart, it was kind of like set up so that everybody could see it. I just know that this kid was over the moon when, cause we saw this set in the little kid's cart and I'm like, oh my God, where'd he get that? Like go ask him, I don't want to be weird, but like go, go like ask that kid where he got that Lego set. And then Liam kind of like walks up to him and he's like, hey man, like where'd you get that? And he's like, oh, look at it over here. I was like, I know that kid was like, this fucking huge dude thought my Lego set was sick. I don't know, we probably made it here. But it's apparently for Chinese New Year because it's the year of the dragon, I think. That's my year. You're not Chinese. I'm a dragon. <laughs> You're not Chinese. But I'm a dragon. He's Filipino, nobody listened to him. Wait, so how do you know it's year of the dragon? Uh, I think I'm year of the tiger. September. Cause do you like go to a Chinese restaurant and you know how they have like the little placemats? Yeah. Like typical like 2000s Chinese. Imagine like, you're like, yeah, yeah. you're a fucking rat. I think my mom was a rat. Ugh. I was like, mm. sucks to suck, you're the you're tiger. But yeah. Oh, fuck. Today, I have my Kamehameha in powder form. It tastes very, very similar. Honestly, it's a little more concentrated, but Kamehameha is my favorite. They don't sell it in stores, the cans, because those are the type we get from the stores. But they don't have any Kamehameha where I am, so yeah. Brian seems to think that I'm lying about this being glow in the dark when yes, this is a fucking flashlight, but I'm charging it up. Ready for this? Yes. Where is it? <laughs> Hold on. It glows, I swear. I barely see Shush. it. Shush. 
Those were the flashes. Shut up. I should have done it before I put water in it. See, that's what I mean. Like, if the, if it was, like, intense light all over the place, it would glow a lot more. I know that was anticlimactic, so I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> We're going to take shots. I'm just kidding. These are my vitamins. These are my gummy portions. I save those for last because you save the best for last. <sighs> all of them. You do the opposite. What? I do, um... I feel like it's easier for the pills not to get stuck on my tongue and sit there and dissolve and then taste like shit. If like the water's already in there, they go in the water and they just slide right down. All right, so we are here at Roman Empire. One of the first things I noticed that um, Georgie, the owner, I saw his Instagram yesterday and this is kind of part of why I wanted to come today. Uh, apparently there's a section over there that's like marble floors they're all super shiny and i don't know you want to come look at it look at this yeah previously it was a wooden floor right there but now i guess it's the shiny marble i think it looks really cool especially since it's black marble it kind of matches the whole aesthetic with the black and red and just the darkness but uh when we i'm heading back today when we go over to the dumbbell area i'm gonna take a look at how the Benches are bolted to the floor. Because apparently that's a new thing that he added too. I think there's some new machines as well. Don't remember which ones he said. I'll have to go look at his video again. But yeah, Roman's got a good amount of shit. So let's get started. I'm heading back, a little bit of rear delts. I don't know if some people consider rear delts back already. I don't, I think it's like part of your shoulder, but I'm hitting it with back and a little bit of biceps. Cause I have another arm day now, which is on Sunday. I've like changed my split up a million times over. So let's go. I always really try and roll out oh, my lats because uh, about a year, no, it'd be like two, three years ago now. I keep forgetting, time fucking flies, but about two or three years ago when I used to squat really heavy before you know, like I got surgery or anything. Um, I wouldn't roll my back out enough and all of the weight on my back and then all of the tension constantly really, really, really tightened up my back to the point where just putting 135 like hurt my back when I would try to squat. So uh, I found out that my back was really tight and so now I roll out like as much as humanly possible because I got to the point where I had to take a lacrosse ball and literally go up against the wall and like roll shit out. It was bad. So roll out, guys. Go against me that. Go against me that. Go against me that. Go against me that. Go against me that swore. Go against me that swore. Rocking these booty shorts. Party and bore, bore. They want some more, more. Girl, you look tore up from the floor. Go against me that swore. Rocking these booty shorts. Party and bore, bore. They want some more, more. Girl, you look tore up from the floor. Tip to not smell bad either or uh, ever put deodorant on even when you are cold. You don't give yourself a chance to smell. For those of you who watch One Piece and love Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z, whatever. A reason why you need to watch One Piece is because there's basically a character who turns into a dragon like Shenron. And it's fucking sick. I haven't gotten to it. it it's more current, but I just got to Wano in One Piece. And for those of you who know, that's the arc you're gonna see it. So yeah, if you like dragons, or you like obviously Shenron, you need to watch One Piece. Shit gets lit. Oh my god. 
God, the stretch on that. I've never tried this on a machine, but obviously I've seen it everywhere. I would be a little more upright, but I have such long monkey arms that I have to like lean back a little more so I can get full stretch, but also not like like end the tension. Because I want to keep tension the whole time. I just got, I got long ass arms. I really just want to focus on rear delts. So I go to about like here. I don't try and go like all the way this way because then see like I'm getting all of this engaged, like especially my traps. Like look how fucking huge that is for no reason. So I try to keep it here to where it's just my rear delt getting worked. That's why it kind of probably looks funny. Like shit, is that not how to do that? Technically my body doesn't know how to do it right. So I have to help it. So I'm just doing a superset with my bent over like rear delt fly things that I like to do up some bicep curls. So that's gonna finish out the workout. That way it leaves me to be able to hit arms again later. Cause I'm gonna go really hard on uh, arm day, which is Sunday. Uh, I kind of went to, I think it was a set we didn't record. I kind of like went to failure with biceps. The new stuff that they have at Roman, I'm, I'm sure I didn't explore everything that's new, but they're thinking about, okay, you see these lights over here? They're like the honeycomb lights. They want those apparently all out there as well. So I'm excited to come back when all that's done. I really do like this gym just because of the amount of stuff that they have. I'm gonna say 9.2 out of 10. I like Roman, Roman's good. It's just too far away. That's the point eight you're missing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are ever gonna visit or if you have visited already, well, let me know how you like it. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. One, two, three,